Hi guys, today we'll be actually dismantling the M20. I'll show you a step-by-step -step process on how we actually do that. So in front of you is actually an M20, uh, Saber M20. Some of the tools that we need is actually an M5 nut driver. Uh, this is actually to take out the M5 nuts. This is uh, actually a um, Allen key over here for the M M5 screws. Another Allen key here to remove M4 screws and this another Allen key to remove M3 screws. So first and foremost, we actually have to remove the barrel from the blaster. All right, so just go ahead and prime it and then we just need to unscrew the barrel. So for any blaster that you want to disassemble, please remember to remove the barrel first. Just put it aside. And the next step is actually to remove the spring from the blaster. Now you can see the M20 buttstock is actually here. We actually have to remove the buttstock before taking out the spring. So what we do, we just need to unscrew uh, these M4 screws over here. There's another one here as well. And once you have removed these two, it is as good as uh, easy. You can just pull out the whole buttstock just like that. Right, this part itself, we can actually put it aside first. Now, as you can see over here, the M20 has one nut, uh, two screws. All right, so these few we actually have to remove. But remember, while removing, you have to hold this aluminum butt plate in uh, butt plate in place because the spring has a lot of tension. In this case, this is a 14 kg. So what I'll do is that I'll just put it here and we will use, yeah, we'll, we'll actually remove it with the Allen key and the nut driver. All right, please remember to hold the aluminum butt in place. What we do is you can remove these two first and then remove the top nut. All right, it will actually come off. Then you have the back plate which is off all right so all these we just put it aside first and the spring as well we can actually put it aside now this is actually uh, how we actually remove the m20 if you look at the m20 there are actually screws on top all right and in this case the nuts are actually on this side and the screws are actually on this side so the, the, the simple thing is that we need to remove all of these uh, and the nuts itself will actually come off. But before that, we actually have to take out this uh, pistol grip first. 